Hey, sweet. I unlocked the purple uh, thing or whatever. Let's go ahead and switch that. Uh, I only had to do a couple races as the uh, as the red one. All right, purple. It's nice that it wasn't like super mega hard to unlock. Actually, got it. Got the color I like. All right, nice. Um, also, I was just checking around, and there's like this info thing. Oops. Oops. Apparently, you gotta hit info from here. Oh, and you gotta hit the top button. Apparently, there are some uh, game tips that uh, I didn't actually know about. Here, you can actually showing you. You can actually prestige. Oh, excuse me. But uh, check it out. If you KO people, you actually get more max health. And if you're doing it, or if you do it in a Grand Prix, it increases your maximum for the rest of the Grand Prix. So that's kind of cool. And um, also, it gives a little bit of information about the different things or whatever. It says uh, Blue Falcon's average, which we all knew. Golden Fox, it says, has excellent acceleration and can use boost more than other machines. Wild Goose takes less damage and, and isn't affected by collisions as other machines. Isn't as affected by collisions as other machines. Uh, Fire Singer is the fastest machine and also best at cornering. Um, so, um, so, you know, I should go back and watch to see which uh, vehicle Ryukar is using. If, because um, I was looking at the, um, when you look at the stats or whatever... The, uh, the Golden Fox is the slowest, but it's not by that much. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I didn't show this one. But, yeah, there's, like, two mini-maps. There's one where it's, like, a proximity one or whatever. Wait, how do I switch the color? Oh, my gosh. It, like, I only have purple for this one vehicle. <laughs> but, uh, apparently, like, it must not use very much, uh, boost juice if, um, when you use a boost... But uh, I'm guessing it's very, like, fragile. I'm pretty sure that it lost its health, like, very fast. Like, any sort of collision. It was, like, the squishiest of the four, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, so that could suck. I also didn't notice until just a little while ago that they have, like, they have, like, stats. Like, bar stats. But it should have, uh, durability as, like, one of the stats. Yeah, I forgot to vote, by the way. I was gonna vote for the left one. But by the time I put my hand on the controller, it was too late. But we lost by more than one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, god dang it. Okay, well, let's just try out... Uh, let's just try out this one. Uh, Ryukar said that he heard that the Golden Fox is OP. And then not only that, but the max speed... The, uh, the max speed isn't enough to, like, really, like, matter. Like, I'm pretty sure the max speed of, like, the, uh, the Wild Goose is like 460 something but it's like you're never gonna have a straightaway long enough to get that fast so you're better off like getting to your like highest speed like faster i think this one has like i think 430 is like the max like 430 something but uh, i was looking at the uh the acceleration of the wild goose and it's like, it accelerates, like once it gets to like 400, it accelerates so slowly that you're never gonna reach like top speed by just like driving on a straightaway. So what's even the point of having it? Um, oh yeah, I dude, I forgot about that. The reason I was getting my uh, health back, like back so slowly is because the different vehicles get, the, get their health back at different rates. I remember because the fire stingray gets it back like super duper slow. And then the Wild Goose is, like, second slowest. So that's not a change they made for this game. They might have adjusted the rates that you get it back. Yeah, this one apparently, uh... Like, like to balance it... Oh my gosh, look how fast that is. To balance out the squishiness of the Wild... Uh, or the, the this one, the Golden Fox. They made it so you get your health back. So you can get full health on every lap. So maybe being squishier doesn't matter since your life only has to last for one lap. Well, it does kind of suck that I have to, uh, that I don't get to use the purple one. I don't get to use the purple wild goose. I mean, I could use it, but it's like, well, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna like this one better. I don't know. It is kind of weird. How would you press L and R to lean? 
the thing like tilts like 30 degrees on its side. It's kind of funny. Oh, also learned that um, those like round vehicles, they're called bumpers. I didn't know that they had a name. I don't know if you would have known that if you read the, the instruction manual on the Super Nintendo version. But uh, like on the Super Nintendo version, like the CPU cars were just called bumpers. And then uh, that golden bumper guy is um, no rivals defeated. Okay, well, so <laughs> I don't know why it's being like, oh, you failed. It gave me like the like the failure sound or something. But um, but uh, there are circumstances where you can uh, control it as uh, you can control a bumper. They said if you do the team match, then if you blow up or whatever. You can control a bumper and continue to score points for your team, which I thought was kind of cool. And then, I forget what it said, but it said there was some other tip where there was some other thing. It said that if you, like, blow up, there's, like, a chance that you could come back as a bumper and just, like, continue to race and, like, affect the race or whatever. So I guess maybe you could, like, target someone that's, like, ahead of points, that's ahead of you, ahead of you on points or whatever. I don't know if you'd actually be able to implement that strategy or whatever. Um, but you can at least, like, keep playing after you blow up, which I thought was cool. I don't know if it's, like, a 10% chance or a 25% chance or what, but it hasn't happened to me yet, but, um, but apparently it's a thing, but, man, look at this, by the way. It's cycling back to Queen. No. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go, uh, when we cut again, I'm gonna check, uh, to check to see which, uh, vehicle Ryu's, uh, Ryu car is using, and I'm just gonna use that one, because I'm gonna go ahead and assume that. Whatever one he's using is the best one, so I'm just gonna copy him. It's like yoga. If you don't ever know, like, know, like, how to do a pose, there's, like, no rule that says that you can't just, like, copy off that person, like, nearby or whatever. Um, so, yeah, you can actually, like, cheat off of other people. That's why it's best to always be in the middle, because different poses, you'll be facing, like, different directions, and if you're in the middle of the room, then and if there's, like, people on all sides of you, then there's always people that you could copy off of, no matter, no matter what direction you're facing when you do any given pose. So yeah, a little, little yoga tip for ya.
You know, I just noticed that when it says number of rivals defeated, when it says defeated, I think it means that you, like, did better than them, not that you, like, destroyed their vehicle. But, uh, yeah, by the way, I knew I said that I was just gonna, uh, meet back and do the king thing. But I was like, I'm pretty sure that I did not beat the, uh, the queen thing, so I figured we'd give this one more chance. Also, it is kind of weird how, um, how it does, like, White Land 1 and White Land 2, like, like, consecutively or whatever. Oh, by the way, I'm really... I gotta be really careful on this. The Golden Fox is really, really squishy. I went back and watched Ryukar's videos. Ryukar uses, um... Uses the, uh, the Blue Falcon... And he was like, I heard the Golden Fox is OP, but I just like the Blue Falcon. So he was, he was using the Blue Falcon, but then I checked Grand Pooh Bear, and Grand Pooh Bear was using the Golden Fox, and Grand Pooh Bear is way more competitive than Ryukar. I mean, Ryukar is really good, like, he likes to win, but in terms of, like, like, I don't know what the term is, but, like, like Grand Pooh Bear is, like, he's, like, aggressively competitive... Whereas Ryukar is more, like, casually competitive. But, um, so that's why I decided to use the, uh, the Golden Fox or whatever. But then it kind of occurred to me. I was like, well, I'm not as good as Grand Pooh Bear at the game. And it's like, there was a couple of tracks where I was, like, in danger of, like, blowing up on, like, every lap. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to need more armor if I'm going to do, uh, Fire Field. My oh gosh, I had to I had to avoid the uh, the golden dude just to uh to get the health back. That was like unfortunate. Oh, there's another one though. Nice. Maybe yeah, I can get this guy. Oh wait, my thing was full anyway, so I didn't even need it. Oh, it didn't give me that last uh, boost or whatever. It was stupid to boost through the thing. I needed to get... I needed to, like, stay in it for longer. Okay, probably not going to get another Skyway unless I can just get up all on the nuts of one of those things. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, there's one of the tips, or one of the tips or whatever, said that whenever you hit a boost ramp, your, uh, or a jump ra ramp, rather, your, uh, your twirly thing resets. So, like, of all the times I was playing it, I actually never noticed that. I guess I qualified. Alright, cool. Man, 15th? I didn't think that I was above 20th, but I'll take it. Alright, look at me being all B. I'm all a, I'm a big old B-boy now. Oh man, it's been so long since they did a king. The king one, like, should be next. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch to the, uh, to the, uh, Blue Falcon. You know what? Because the fire field is, like, so hard, maybe I should switch with the Grey Goose, or the Wild Goose, just to have more armor. Actually, is that track, like, hard? I know it's, like, super long. I'm pretty sure that it has, um, it has, like, a second energy recharge, like, partway through the lap, I think. Just, like, a little one. Just to, like, help you out a little bit, I think. Okay, so this is my, uh, I think first time playing this track. I don't think I made it to the last track. Yeah, this does not... Oh, yeah, definitely not familiar. We definitely didn't do this one. I always thought it was weird how it has that, like, that, uh... Like, that blue stuff on the barrier. It has, like, a large, like, thingy of it. Where it's, like, several layers thick, but you can just drive through it. The amount of time you saved... The, or the amount of time you save by going, like, straight through it is way worth it. You take, like, a tiny bit of damage driving straight through it, but it's barely any. So you're way better off to just drive uh, straight through it than to go, like, around it. I wonder if they adjusted it to have it do more damage in this version.
yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to, uh, to, like, steer while simultaneously, like, looking at how much health I have. So, like, to look at, like, the, like, the corners of the screen while trying to focus on my driving, like, I have to, like, look away from my car to, like, look at the, at the stuff in the corners. And I did it again. I did. Oh my god, I'm gonna. I'm toast. I need a Skyway thing just so that I, like, can, like, avoid, like, blowing up. Well, even if I, uh, die on this one, I at least got to play it. And of course, there's no. Oh my gosh, I blew that guy up, apparently. And there's, like, no golden things. Oh, there's some. Finally, Jesus. Right at the very end. Did I not get a Skyway thing that whole time? And apparently you can, like, change the angle of your of your thing on your little uh, display card thing. That uh, One of the guys was, like, sideways. Yeah, I think that straight on, like, facing you view is kind of, like, not, like, the best view. All right, I actually did it. I actually finished Queen for real. Uh, so what was my uh, final ranking? Oh, 14th? 14th out of... Uh, well, actually, you know what? I don't know how many... Uh, how many of these people were uh, computers. I'll have to go back and check the footage. I didn't look at how many were bots. Oh, but an another thing I forgot to mention. All right, level up. All right, cool. Be the first pilot to reach the start line. All right, cool. Okay, we got Whiteland uh, 2 or whatever. So I must have um, already unlocked Whiteland 1. So if you play on it, is that all you have to do to beat it? Because I guarantee that I did not play... Whiteland 2. So I must have died on Whiteland 1, but I still unlocked it for playing it, I guess. I mean, that one's, like, kind of cool looking, but I'm not gonna use it. But for this, uh, lucky rank thing, it's one of those, like, daily challenge things. See, it says, lucky ranks completed. Try your luck again tomorrow. So each day, you do five races. It fills up, or, like, each one lights up your, um, one of the thingies in the bottom left corner. And then once they're all lit up, then you can uh, pick your, uh, or then you hit the button to get your uh, your lot numbers or whatever. Or your, what do you call it, raffle thingies or whatever. Oh man, King starts in a minute 37. All right. Oh man, so I guess the question is, like I wasn't talking through like most of that one. So should I like show it, I wonder? Should I show me doing the uh, the queen thing like start to finish? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll show it. Just for like completion's sake, even though there's like no way that I could could have like cheated it. I don't know. I'll go I'll go ahead and show the um the entire thing or whatever. Just to show me doing it from like start to finish. I don't know. For some reason it just makes my victory uh seem like more legitimate, or my completing it or whatever seem more legitimate by like showing the whole thing, you know? I mean that kind of is what I do generally speaking. Uh whenever I um whenever I do like a boss attempt or whatever. If I'm, like, dying over and over again, then I'll show that the successful attempt, even if I get the boss, like, three-fourths of the way dead, like, over and over again before I die, then when I show the successful attempt, I'll show the boss from, like, start to finish instead of just, um, just showing at that point of doing damage, like, doing more damage than I've ever done to him up until defeating him or whatever. Oh, man. Okay. Time's almost up. I gotta remember to switch to the... Actually, you know what? I should have thought about it. While I had a few seconds, I mean, I still have a few seconds. Should I use the uh, the the wild goose or the blue falcon? I think I'll be okay if I use the uh, the blue falcon. Yeah, see, the top speed isn't even that much. It's only five more. 
And then the uh, the Golden Fox is only 437. But for like how squishy it is, I don't think it's worth it. Actually, the Blue Falcon isn't that much... Like, he doesn't have that much more durability than the, uh, than the Golden Fox. I don't know. The fact that it's only, like, a half a notch more, I think they adjusted it. I don't think the difference is that pronounced, or I don't think, or rather, what I meant to say is, I don't think the difference is that close between the two vehicles in the Super Nintendo version. Why are some of the vehicles spinning and changing colors? Does that mean they're just switching vehicles and colors and stuff? So they might have adjusted the durability or whatever. I don't know. I just want to be more durable. Yeah, I knew that the uh, the Blue Falcon was like the second squishiest or whatever. But I didn't think that it was that close to the Golden Fox. Like the Golden Fox is so squishy that like I want a little bit more durability than just an extra half a notch or whatever. So I think Wild Goose is probably the right choice. And I get to use, like, the purple one. I'm actually not entirely sure if I ever used the purple one. That was the one that I've been, like, wanting. Maybe I used it, like, once. And then I switched to the golden fox. Okay, so I gotta, like... Like, obviously I'm not, like, trying to win. Because I'm not good enough to win, even if I was trying. But I just have to, like, qualify and not die. I just want to make it... I just want to, like, do an attempt on the fire thing or whatever. If I fail, then I'm just going to say F it. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, we... Like, episode's not over until I, like, do it or whatever. It's like, I've already waited long enough. I've already been recording for two hours and 25 minutes on this recording session or whatever. And probably an hour of it's just been, like, just been, like, waiting... And my other recording session was like two hours. So I've already spent like a good chunk of the day playing this. So I think I'm, I'll am i be satisfied with um, with whatever amount of footage I end up having. Even if I don't show the fire field or whatever. But it would be nice if I just got, like, got lucky. And ended up playing against a bunch of like noobs. Or like people that aren't like crazy insanely good. Doesn't seem to be the case since I'm like I'm in like 70 freaking fourth. Like Jesus, man, barely qualify for this first freaking race. Okay. Oh God, dang it. Oh, there's another one right there. Lucky, lucky. Oh my god, I only hit it once. God dang. Alright, whatever. We got a boost. Just gotta go. Alright. Well, as long as I qualified, like, that's fine. Like, even if I would've, like... Like, there was just nobody to, like, get ahead of. There wasn't enough time to, like, get any higher than that or whatever, but it's fine. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I hope I'm gonna be able to do it, man. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I kind of hope so, but... But we'll see. I gotta remember to use the Skyway on, like, the, on, like, the, uh, twisty part. The part with all the stupid 90-degree turns. Actually, if you angle it correctly, you can hit some of the boosts relatively risk-free, as long as you're, like, prepared for the turn. As long as you, like, line it up in advance properly. Okay.
you know, I think I said this already, but Nintendo, I would say, did do a pretty good job with this game. Whereas with Mario 35, I did, I did like, what, three episodes of it, and I was like, I'm good. But I feel like this game has, uh, oh, god damn it. Well, I meant to use a boost. I didn't realize that I had uh, maxed out my thing right at the exact, like, right when I, like, went to hit the button. But uh, I think they did a good job with this game, making it so that you, like, want to, like, play it more. I know it was kind of dumb to boost through the thing, but I wanted to get another hit on that thing. Every time you hit it, you get like an F load of, um, of gold coin things. Oh, by the way, they're called super sparks, apparently. Okay, hold it, hold it. So you can actually hit that one and this one without too much trouble. It's just, oh my god, you can actually use it to save yourself. It's like a bomb in a shmup game. Wait, did I hit a second, uh, recharge thing? I hit, like, a tiny recharge thing. Is there a second recharge thing only on the Skyway? On this track, I wonder? Or is it just... Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It seemed, like, way shorter than the other one. And I thought it was in a different place. That's why I thought it was maybe a second one. I could be wrong. But I feel like I'm... No, I guess it is. I guess it is just. I guess it is just the one. Jeez, been talking for so long, having a hard time wording. My words are starting to not word very well. Yeah, well, I felt like I did pretty well up until that last lap. But I guess everyone else was just better. Okay, well, so far, so good. I mean, here's where it gets dicey. Like, I gotta do better than, uh... Is this the one where you have to be... Oh, man, top 40. Oh, jeez. I might not make it past this one, for F's sake. And even if I do, how the hell am I gonna get top 20 in the one after that? This is actually... <laughs> you know what? I was maybe biting off a little more than I could chew. Well, then again, you know, I did it in the other one. But maybe the people playing the king one are just like better players, like generally speaking. I don't know. Maybe I should just uh, like talk less, try to concentrate. Okay, we'll wait for that hairpin turn to use the thing. I got him in last place. This should be close enough. Just wanted to get around this twisty part. I don't want to slow down to like hit it. God dang it, I did it again. That's like the worst habit. Yeah, this shit's a zero-sum game, son. For me to get ahead of someone, someone else has to get DQ'd or whatever. Shit. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Jesus. 
Okay, I think we're not okay. No, we're not okay. Oh, god dang. Well, I screwed the pooch. Got, like, bounced around and stuff. I don't know if it would have mattered. I don't know if I would have been able to get ahead of several more guys. Okay, well, sadness. I have to end on a failure, but it's like, whatever, it's fine. I didn't get to show the one thing or whatever, but it's like, well, you'll just have to, if you want to see it, you'll just have to watch someone else's video of it, it's fine. I've already spent enough time on it. I think, um, the fact that I can't just, like, pick it and race it, like, the fact that you just have to, like, keep waiting or whatever. Actually, hold up. Oh, god dang it. It already cycled out. The next one already cycled out. I was about to say, maybe I could do it one more time if I can get in in time. So I think they have it where if you survive to like the, you know, fourth or fifth race, then you don't have enough time to jump back in. But if you die in like the first one or second one or whatever, then like the timer hasn't uh, gone out or whatever, then you can like hop back in. So it is kind of cool how it does like a second chance thing in case you, you know, screw the pooch or make some kind of like, in case you're in some kind of like situation where you make like one mistake and then it, like, you, like, ruin your chances or whatever. Like, you can, like, hop back in. But, uh, yeah, I guess if you make it too far, then you have to wait around again. You have to wait for it to cycle around again, which is Bootsy. Uh, and I'm not gonna do it. I've already been playing this long enough. I'm satisfied with the amount of footage I have. So we're just gonna call it here. So that's gonna conclude this game. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of fun, but it's like, you know, as a Let's Player, it's like, you always want to just move on to the next game. And to be honest, I don't do that much gaming like most of my gaming is let's playing like these days so i'm probably not gonna uh play this on my own time even though it is like i do like this way more than mario 35 and um and pac-man 99 i don't know i do like tetris a lot but it feels like no matter how good you are there's just people that are just like way better at it so i mean i, I like that one too but it's like i feel like comparing like a racing game to like tetris is like apples to oranges a bit too much for me to say which one i like more overall um, but like I said, I did like this one, and I like Tetris 99 more also. Uh, part of the reason I didn't like Pac-Man 99 that much is because I don't like Pac-Man in general. Um, so I guess that puts us so far at, like, two for two. But it's like, well, one of them, it's not really the game's fault because I just don't like the game in general. But Mario I like a lot, but I did not like the, the, uh, the Royal, the, what do you call it, Battle Royale version of it. But, uh, this one I did like, and I'm glad I played it. Uh, glad I got a chance to play it, but uh, it is time to move on. We gotta, we always gotta keep the keep the train moving. I got like a bajillion other games to get to that I can't uh, spend too much time on like one game. Um, so we're just gonna move on. So, so uh, yeah, I guess we'll call this a game. Yeah, like I said, it sucks that I didn't get to play that last one, but oh freaking well, man, I just gotta get over it. There's that little part of me that that's gonna like, that's gonna be like, oh man, I wish I could have done it, but it's like, well, I also have to like but I also have to um just like I have to just get over it you know even though it's gonna like nag me that like that I didn't show like everything you know like I showed like 99% of the things but I didn't show that one last thing so it's gonna like bug me a little bit but it's like well like I said I just gotta get over it and um and you know a month from now or six months from now or whatever I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna care so who cares um but anyway I've gone on long enough that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.